Okay, so I really hope he does not turn around. Please don't turn around. He got me! He got me! Yeah, this thing's just absolutely beautiful, man. Freaking gorgeous. Love the red. Okay, one day. Keep working hard. You'll get this. What's up guys, it's your boy Fast Lane D and today we're getting on this beautiful, hold on, hold on, Ducati Panigale V4 R Bay B. Man, look at that, it's got it etched in the seat, it's got the beautiful tank, all the carbon accents, it's got it, the strap set up on there, he's got the full Arata exhaust on there. Huge shout out to the duck shop, Tony, over here he's the owner and he also owns the shop, the duck shop, not the duck shop, sorry. The bike shop in Atlanta. This is also his carbon V4. Is this an SR? What is this? This is a base, yeah. So he got a straight carbon out. Like, absolutely beautiful, man. Freaking insane. I know this thing be just embarrassing people. Look at the exhaust on here. Like, <laughs> what? That is nuts, man. But, 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 we're taking this beautiful V4R out. I'm super excited. I've ridden the Super Leg. Obviously, I've ridden the SP2. I've ridden an S model, but I have yet to ride an R. So, this is gonna be a good one. I mean, just look at all the colors in here. Just everything, man. It's just freaking nuts. But all right, enough talking. Woo! Whoa, 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 hold on. Y'all hear that? Sheesh! But yeah, first things you kind of notice, like I said, are the carbon wings there. All the different reds that they use on this bike. The number one on the side. Look at the beautiful bluing. And the exhaust. He's got this back part gold wrapped, which I think accents the Olin suspension very well. I mean, yeah. Looks like he's got an aftermarket sprocket on there as well. Woo! And uh, yeah, this is number 286, as you can see right there. Let's turn this on. Yeah, that's nice. Wait, tell me, tell them what uh, what mods you got on here. Um, we just put a front strap kit. There's okay. A lot of exhaust they just put on it. Uh, we did an in-house tune. Yep. Uh, we have the new V4 Extreme rear hub. Yep. Box setup and I saw that. And a filter, obviously. All right. Let's see. I'll check them out, man. The bike shop and ATL. I'll throw up their Instagram if y'all go check them out. They tune all these bikes and work on them and everything. So, as y'all can see, all three Ducatis that were just here are his. <laughs> so, he loves the brand, but y'all work on everything, though, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, damn. So <laughs> I'll try to be like him when I grow up. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> That's that karma right there. There you go. There you go. There's levels, man. There's levels. But all right, enough talking. Let's get this cold start going, baby. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, warm start going. My bad. I'm so used to saying that. That Arata is very raw sounding. That sounds way different than my bike. Like, way different. That throttle so responsive. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I can't wait for this. This might be a good video, guys. GP shit. 
I mean, dude, this sounds nothing like my bike. It also sounds nothing like the Super Lake. So y'all know I rode a Super Legera out in, uh, out in Cali. <laughs> Heck no, he's trying to do a run. Let's see, I just want to do a quick uh, review video. Dude, that suspension is freaking rough. Yeah, my Ducati is way smoother. Like exponentially smoother. Those brakes on the duck, they'll feel so good. And I've been riding my R1M a ton. I keep forgetting this GP shift. <laughs> I've been riding my R1M a ton. So whenever I hop back on my Ducati, like you feel a big difference with the these brakes on here. My bike, honestly, like feels a little bit lighter, I feel like. And I was, it's probably the carbon wheels, honestly. Because this bike, so the SP2 comes with carbon wheels and the Super Lake comes with carbon wheels. But the R does not. So yeah, this bike does feel a little bit heavier just throwing it in between my legs. And we've got it in race mode. Those that are new to the Ducatis, the R's have less like mid-range as far as power, but more top end. And they rev higher. So I think my bike, it revs a 16. This one revs a 16.5. Well, my bike might, might rev the 15.5, I don't remember, but this one revs way higher. Yeah, this thing's just absolutely beautiful, man. Freaking gorgeous, love the red, and love how they added in all the different shades of red in there as well. I do like the matte black on the SP2, though. Y'all comment down below, do y'all prefer the red on the Ducatis, which is just like a signature color, kind of like with Ferrari, so everything's red. Or do y'all like the matte black that I have on the SP2? I'm like itching for this light to turn green. Come on, give me a green, baby. There we go. All right, oh, kickstand. Embarrassing. I hope nobody's behind me, but I don't have a, any mirrors to tell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shifting wise it feels the same. Holy cow. That pull on the top end though. Like what? Like mid-range it feels like it has nothing compared to the uh, SP2, but then as soon as you get on the top end, it's like power, 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 power. And I'm like looking to shift because I'm so used to my bike having to shift a lot earlier. And this thing's like, I look down, I'm like, I still have room. <laughs> I still have time <laughs> to keep going. Oh my gosh. That's such like a wild sensation. Cause I feel like I'm on my bike. So I should be shifting early, but it's like, nope, you got time. Power, 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 power. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So it's like nothing, 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 nothing.
I like it. It's a little bit more raw feeling than my bike. Like, actually not a little, a lot more raw feeling than my bike. And the Ducatis already have such a raw feeling to them. But yeah, it doesn't feel as powerful in the mid-range until about 12K. And then it feels like my bike. And then on the top end, it just feels like it has more than my bike. And I can rev it higher. So it's just like, holy cow. It starts pulling like a freight train. And this one's a lot more high-pitched than my bike. Which I don't know if it's more the exhaust that does that. Or if it's more so like the bike. Because y'all know this one has a different motor than my SP2. My SP2 has the 1100 motor. This is the 998cc motor. Wow. All right, we're going to neighborhoods, which is not where I want to be. So let me flip around real quick. Hopefully no one's behind me. This steering feels heavier than mine too. Yeah, like that is hard to turn. Like really hard to turn. But the chassis feels lighter. Okay, that's weird. It feels like the weight is higher up than on my bike. Like my bike's so light because of the carbon wheels. I think this one's lighter because of the motor. I don't know, I could just... That's throwing me off. It might be the tire pressures that's making the tires feel heavy, but the bike feels light. Which I don't know if that's making sense to you guys or not, but uh, we're gonna go before this light turns. Yep, perfect. See ya! I wish I could do a proper test ride and get this thing. It's a nice little C8. I like that color. Never seen that color before. Stingray R. But I wish I could do a proper test ride and get this thing on the track. Because that's what this bike is built for over my SV2. Or a base model V4. Or a V4S. And that's really where this is going to shine. But Tony threw me the keys and said I could ride it. And I was like, all right, cool. Say less make the most out of this situation but okay now it feels heavier than my sp2 it's the wheels those carbon wheels really do make a huge difference if this thing had carbon wheels it would be literal perfection i just also love how everything in here is carbon like you're not looking at any magnesium yeah that's sick now i know a lot of you're gonna ask like hey would you buy yeah Lee, would you buy an a v4r it just really doesn't make sense since i already have the sp2 the sp2 is better for street riding than this bike and don't get me wrong this bike is incredible and a complete like beast of its own in its own different league in the sp2 but yeah i just love the black on the sp2 it's such like a menacing look seeing that bike go down the road it's so aggressive looking it's very unique you see a lot of red ducatis all the time but you rarely see not black ones so i like it for that fact and the fact that you're just rarely going to see that bike and the maintenance intervals on this bike are a lot more than on my bike so it just it really wouldn't make sense especially for the type of riding that i do which yeah i track my v4 but i also like to ride my bikes while i'm at home to like work or to the store to run errands i just enjoy being out on two i really don't want to get off this thing to be honest with you I did that right in front of the cop. Ah, sh he's behind me. Uh, yeah, let's get off this road. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get off this road. I do not want the cop to come up behind me. Is he? No. All right, he's not coming. 
That made me nervous. I was like, that is the last thing I need right now. I have no idea if this plate, this bike has a plate on it or not. Oh, here come the boys doing a race right here. Look, look, look. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Them boys was cooking right past the cop back there. God, we gotta figure out a different way to get uh get back there. There's Dumongus. He said, I really hope he does not turn around. Please don't turn around. no idea behind him. No clue. He's got my hoodie on too. <laughs> he has no clue. That's what's up. Heck yeah. Look at the hoodie, baby. <laughs> Heck yeah. Shout out to my guy, baby. Shout out to my guy. Yeah, that Jixxer's clean. That Jixxer's real clean. Uh, yeah, second. I'll do one pull. <laughs> All right, he got me. He got me. He got me. He got me. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's bring this bike back. Embarrassing. Yes, How you gonna do me like that, man? <laughs> Come on now, damn. Yeah, this thing's running right, man. The back is running right. That's what's up. That's crazy. Yeah. That top end is wild. You was out of there. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm just too heavy to be roll racing, man. Way too heavy. I'm 250. Dude, Mungus is probably like 150. <laughs> I mean... I don't care how fast your bike is, like... To make up for a 100 pound difference is... You're gonna be putting down some serious power compared to another bike. But y'all know that. Weight plays such a big difference. Or a, such a big role in this scene, man, bro. <laughs> Once again, shout out to Tony, man, for uh, for letting me ride this thing, man. <laughs> yeah, this thing is incredible, bro. In a freaking incredible, bro. Sheesh. What do y'all think? Y'all comment down below. Should we get a V4R? Or keep the SB2 and just keep monitor, man. I love that bike, like I said. So, uh, okay, one day. Keep working hard, you'll get this. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all. Y'all know Kudis got a V4 on order. He's just waiting on it to come in. It's it's ordered, man. It's coming, so y'all stay tuned. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Join the fast way gang, baby. Hey, sheesh. So glad I was able to get on this bike. The V4R, Kudis, your boy, we out. Peace.